Hello, how are you? Ah, Jack, welcome back. Reviving the dodo is a thought-provoking notion. On one hand, it offers a glimmer of hope, an opportunity for redemption day. Museums generally choose what to tell people, um, but in this way they can ask whatever they like. Um, and that's really, really valuable, I think. Like, they can have an actual conversation with a, an animal, with a specimen, and that, I think, brings it to life in a really different way than a normal museum exhibit might. People can ask whatever they like, and when I started working with the Nature Perspectives platform, I was just asking factual questions, but because the animal's personality comes across, really quickly you end up having an actual conversation where you're asking more about feelings, or you're asking anything fun, you could ask it you know, how its day was, what it had for breakfast, you can have a, a proper conversation, and I think that is it's a different way of engaging, and it, it's, yeah, it's, it's much more real, I think, than most information we get in museums. What's it like to be a platypus? It's like dancing to nature's most eclectic symphony. Imagine this, your senses are heightened in the water. With my bill, I'm attuned to the electric whispers of the river, detecting creatures hidden beneath the surface. It's really inclusive, so people, can, people tell, tell uh, the animal what age they are, so it speaks back to them at a kind of age-appropriate age level. It speaks in, in 20 different languages, so uh, you can, you know, whoever you are, you can come and ask it a question, you can type in your questions, or you can use voice. Uh, so, it's, yeah, it's very inclusive. Ah, music. In my day, we danced to the rhythm of the forest, the rustling leaves, the gentle sway of the palm fronds, and the distant calls of fellow creatures. If I were to imagine what might capture the essence of such tranquility today, perhaps it would be something light and soothing. 